Welcome to the Friday Five with Steve Greenfield on CBT News. Welcome to this week's Friday Five, where we recap the last week's automotive technology deals. This is Steve Greenfield from Automotive Ventures, and thanks for joining us. Well, it's a brand new year, and we've got a bunch of new auto tech deals to announce, so let's get right into this week's deals. To start off today's segment, Accelerate Group, a leading nationwide vehicle auction and remarketing company owned by Brightstar Capital Partners, has signed a definitive agreement to acquire America's Auto Auction, another leading vehicle auction provider. The strategic combination of Accelerate and Americas will create one of the nation's premier providers of vehicle auctions and related financing to enable the remarketing of vehicles, delivering critical services, and liquidity to the vehicle ecosystem. Terms of the transaction were not disclosed. In F&I news this week, National Auto Care has acquired ADS Management Group. The terms of this deal were not disclosed. The agency provides dealership development and finance and insurance products and services to automobile dealerships throughout the Mid-Atlantic and Southeast regions of the U.S. In autonomous technology this week, Voyant Photonics has raised a $15.4 million A round to bring its smaller, cheaper, more easily manufactured, yet still highly capable LiDAR to production. The round was led by UP Partners with participation from LDV Capital and Contour Ventures. Voyant's goal is to shrink LiDAR down from sandwich to fingernail size using silicon photonics. The real challenge faced by nearly every LiDAR company is getting the price down. Between a strong laser, capable receptor, and a mechanical or optical means of directing the beam, it just isn't easy making something cheap enough that like an LED screen or touchscreen, you can easily put several of them in a vehicle that costs less than 30 grand. The way Voyant does it, it's cheap, possible to get under 100 bucks with scale. All the optics, beam, and handling and sensing is right on the microchip itself. In further autonomous uh, news this week, AI chip making startup Neron closed a new round of $25 million in funding with Light On Technology, a Taiwanese optoelectronic pioneer, as a strategic investor. Other investors included Alltech Technology, PAL Pilot International, Sandhill Angels, and Gain Jules. AI chips, which are semiconductors designed to accelerate machine learning, have many applications including autonomous driving vehicles. In the vertical takeoff and landing space, or VTOL, um, this week, Eve Air Mobility has entered into a definitive business combination agreement with SPAC, Xanite Acquisition Corp. Upon closing of the transaction, Eve Holding will be listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol EVEX. Embraer will remain a majority shareholder with an approximately 82% equity stake in EVE Holding following the closing of the business combination. The strategic alignment with Embraer provides EVE with significant costs and execution advantages relative to other industry participants. In the electrification space this week, eLeap Power, a technology innovator revolutionizing electric vehicles with its smart inverter system, has raised $21 million Canadian dollars in a Series A funding. The round was led by a consortium of pension funds and BDC Capital's clean tech practice. eLeap Power's initial contract is with a global automotive manufacturer headquartered over in China, though it will use eLeap Power's smart inverter technology to drive its best selling line of fully electric commercial fleet vehicles. Elite Power's suite of powertrain technologies significantly reduces electric vehicle charging time and allows for bi-directional charging, as well as charging directly from renewable energy sources like wind and solar. In further electrification news this week, Kling Systems aims to revolutionize the recycling industry and has secured $2.3 million from a number of global investors led by Trucks Venture Capital and First Venture. When batteries reach their so-called end of life, they end up in a fragmented system of car dismantlers and automobile workshops. Logistics can account for almost 50% of the entire recycling costs. Hence, the challenge in the circular system is mainly concerned with collection and sorting, how each battery should be reused, remanufactured, or recycled in order to best utilize the raw material. Kling Systems has studied the battery industry for several years and is now investing heavily in solving the complex and global problem of a B2B marketplace. 
Through efficient matching of supply and demand for used batteries, Kling enables a closed loop while maintaining a competitive market. Today, the marketplace is aimed at car assemblers in the Nordic region and remanufacturers across Europe. Hive Technologies, the company unlocking the full carbon benefit of electric vehicles, announced $30 million in new funding. The investment accelerates the company's vision to ensure that future generations benefit from cleaner air quality by expanding affordable access to EVs and renewable energy-based charging infrastructure. This combination is critical to expedite EVs' full carbon reduction potential. Hive's unique model reduces the return on invested carbon dioxide of EVs to one year, down from approximately seven on average with today's utilization. To achieve this vital carbon benefit, Hive taps a convergence of proven technologies, including high-range EVs, IoT, iSun Inc.'s modular solar charging capabilities, and energy storage. In international news this week, Planet 42, a South African-based car subscription company that buys used cars from dealerships and rents them to customers via subscription model, has raised $30 million in equity and debt. The investment is a prequel to a larger Series A round next year. It comprises $6 million in equity and $24 million in debt financing. Naspers Limited, through its early stage investment vehicle Naspers Foundry, led the equity round with $3.4 million. Existing investors include Change Ventures, the lead venture from Planet 42's seed round, as well as startup Wise Guys. In further international news this week, Nigerian mobility tech startup Metro Africa Express is planning to enter more markets across Africa as it races towards formalizing the continent's transportation sector after securing $31 million in Series B funding. The latest funding round was co-led by global private equity platform Lightrock, which is making its first investment in the African mobility space, and UAE-based international venture capital firm Global Ventures. Others that also took part in this round include invest in existing investors Novastar Ventures and Proparco. The startup will use the funding to enter Ghana and Egypt by the end of the first quarter of 2022, and other additional markets in Francophone, East and South Africa by close of this same year. The funds will also be used to extend vehicle financing credit to over 100,000 drivers in the next two years. So with that, let's transition to our companies to watch. Every week we highlight interesting companies in the automotive technology space to keep an eye on. If you read my monthly industry intel report, I showcase a few companies each month and we take the opportunity here on the Friday Five to share some of those companies each week with you. Today we have three companies to watch, WeaveGrid, Smart Car, and Motion Intelligence. First up this week, we have WeaveGrid. WeaveGrid works with utilities and electric vehicle owners to enable and accelerate the electrification of transportation. Using machine learning, optimization, and predictive analytics, their software solution solves several EV grid integration challenges for utilities in a systems-oriented manner, helps integrate renewable energy resources on the grid, and saves utility customers money on their bills. WeaveGrid's vision is to drive the rapid decarbonization of the transportation and electric networks by intelligently connecting EVs to the grid. Check out WeaveGrid at www.weavegrid.com. Our second company to watch this week is SmartCar. SmartCar empowers developers to build the future of mobility. Their API allows web and mobile apps to locate and unlock cars using simple HTTP requests. The smart car platform is compatible across car brands. It works without aftermarket hardware like OBD2 dongles. Smart car's customers have built apps for peer-to-peer -peer car sharing, mobile car washers, and fleet management. Check out smart car at www.smartcar.com. Our third and final company to watch this week is Motion Intelligence. Motion Intelligence has created a technology platform capable of precisely locating and identifying mobile devices inside any vehicle using equipment that already exists in cars. This industry-leading platform enables mobile operators, vehicle manufacturers, service providers, and application developers to customize the interaction with each device based on where it is located in the vehicle. The Motion Intelligence service can prevent distracted driving while simultaneously allowing targeted interactions with passengers based on their location within the vehicle for entertainment, climate control, navigation, and even more. 
The identification of each device, including wearables, ensures safety while also fueling innovation for vehicle services, mobile engagement, and autonomous driving. Check out Motion Intelligence at www.motionintelligence.com. So that's your weekly Friday Five, a quick wrap up of the big deals in the automotive technology space over the past week. If you're an early stage automotive technology entrepreneur looking to raise money, or an entrepreneur who is trying to decide whether and when they should raise money or sell their business, I'd love to speak with you. Thank you for tuning in to CBT News for this week's Friday Five, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us for another edition of the Friday Five. 